Ladies and gentlemen, Eminem season is still going strong. We have had the release of the Death of Slim Shady. The Death of Slim Shady Expanded Edition is on the way. And I thought, what better time to make a video talking about every single edition of the Slim Shady LP that I have on vinyl record. When it comes to buying vinyl records, people tend to pick an album that they want, they'll get it, and that'll be it. For me, I, I kind of went a bit overkill when it came to the Slim Shady LP. Which is kind of funny considering where I ranked it on my Eminem tier list. But let's go to that first era and we're gonna look at the Slim Shady LP. Now this for me, it's an okay album. It's not that it's like bad and I really do appreciate what this album did as an album and how it like just launched his career. And I thought what better time than now to show you each Slim Shady LP I've got. So let's begin with just the plain and simple original Slim Shady LP, and um, I will classify that actually, or clarify, so I should say. This isn't like an ori original pressing, I believe this is from like, this would have probably been a pressing made in like the 2010s, that's as best as I can really give you with this one, but I'm just calling it the original in terms of the most simple, this is just the base edition that you could get. This is vanilla Slim Shady LP, if that's what you want to define it as. Now with this one, you literally have the front cover, you also have the back cover, no gate fold, you simply pull it out and you are left with two LPs. No inserts in this one, nothing at all, empty. And then if I pull them out, it doesn't usually come with these pre-sleeve, but mine have got inner sleeves on, but nice, simple, clean, plain black record for you. And simply put, that is the first version that you will get of the Slim Shady LP. Now this album, I don't think there's really much for me to say in terms of how important it is to Eminem's career. It basically put him on the map. And a lot of people will rank this album as basically the top three in his discography. I personally, I think I was harsh with my tier list ranking of it. I personally don't think it's in the top three. I would definitely say it's top five worthy. I just don't think there's like a lot of songs on here you will find yourself coming back to to listen without re-listening to the whole album with probably the exception of my name is and maybe guilty conscience however when you put it all together it's a great project and it's a project that should celebrate its anniversary and for this next one i picked up it was to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the sim shady lp and that is the expanded edition so with the expanded edition it still has every single track that was released on the original LP. However, it came with some bonus material in form of the third LP on here, which had a side E and a side F. Side E had Hazardous Youth. I don't know why I was so bad at pronouncing that, but oh well. And that's the acapella version. Get You Mad, which I believe was an unreleased track. Greg, again, another a cappella version. Bad Guys Always Die from the Wild Wild West soundtrack. Guilty Conscience radio version. Guilty Conscience Instrumental, Side F then has Guilty Conscience a cappella edited version, then My Name is Instrumental, Just Don't Give an F a cappella version, Just Don't Give an F Instrumental as well. And this edition is readily available, it's not one that is actually that hard to find. And if I'm honest with you, in terms of those additions onto the track list, I don't really think they're that much of a deal breaker in terms of deciding to get this. What I do think is a bit of a deal breaker is when you compare these two, these are like the most readily available editions of the Slim Shady LP that you're going to get. And the question really becomes, would you rather just have a non-gatefold vinyl record, which is probably a little bit cheaper, or would you rather get like one that has three LPs and probably has a lot jam-packed into it? And is a gatefold, of course, because let's just be real, who doesn't love a gatefold? And just in case you are wondering, this was manufactured in Poland. So this one I did actually buy, like, I was aware of this one, like, when it released, but I did actually get it for the purpose of this video, because I was always curious about it, and just to, like, know what was in it. And already it feels that much more special compared to just the regular version. Oh shit, okay, I was not expecting you. Okay, so the thing that just jumped out at me is this poster, I believe, which should be the Trailer Park... I don't know what, I don't know the name of this guy, I've seen him everywhere. But it's like the mummy Eminem or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's that in the trailer park with the giant mushroom on top of it. And one of the things I will say that I love about like looking through all this and like this whole Slim Shady LP era is a lot of the artwork that was done for it is so unique, I find. And it just perfectly captures the Slim Shady persona and character and style. So then if I open this three ways, 
There you go, you have basically what looks like a massive like file on the Slim Shady character. With the writing obviously showing like the credits of each song. And this is one of my favourite things that I love about seeing in vinyl records. There's actually a thank you section, which isn't something you would probably expect from Eminem and especially the Slim Shady LP. And literally the giant portion of this is literally just names of people who helped Eminem either with this album or during this era. It even mentions Juice in there, who's the guy who he lost the rap battle with at the Rap Olympics. And it finishes off with Jamie, Kim and his little brother Nate and his mother. And then leaves off with, to the people I forgot, you weren't on my mind for some reason and you probably don't deserve any thanks anyway. To all the people who never gave love and continue to deny me because of what I look like, suck my dick, you fucks. Finishing off with, this album is dedicated to my daughter, Hayley Jade Scott. Oh, I really like these as well, actually. So, the sleeves that these put in, they're like proper, like, paper. Uh, you know what I mean when I'm saying that. It's like more like newspaper material, if that makes sense. But each disc seemingly has a different piece of artwork on it. These things feel chunky as well. Like, proper thick records. I don't know if I can, like, really show you this, but it genuinely, like, you can feel the weight of it. So we've seen it from the inside, but on the outside you then obviously get the front and back cover, but then you also are left with this, which I would actually kind of call a bit more of a iconic image from that time period. So there is the expanded version of the Slim Shady LP, but that's not the only version of the expanded LP that got released. Um, back in, I think, February, um, Interscope Records, who obviously own a portion of Eminem's music, I'm not into music labels that much, so apologies if I got that wrong, but they basically released a version of the Slim Shady LP in a limited edition fashion via the means of this version of that iconic image I was just showing you. So obviously they've switched the front cover out on this one for that iconic image and it's actually 3D, so as you can see here, I can actually pull this out, which has a disc in it, and also leaves it so it's like the window is actually what these inner sleeves actually are which i think is really creative of them so then you're left with the front looking a bit like that like the entire inside of this including on the other side where the window is that's all blue sky which kind of is very like it fits with the cover but it's really just like goes against the whole theme of how this album is or how this album looks with the purple so it looks like we met again with another poster but the question is will this be the same which i think it is yeah that's literally the exact same one is it yeah exact same poster so this to me is just a redone version of the other expanded edition or the actual expanded edition again you've literally just seen this this is the exact same version of the inner bit and i mean you have the front cover here but then as you open it it then gives you the actual cover which is obviously is get, again same as the expanded but there's one key difference that makes this one stand apart from that regular expanded edition and that is the lps themselves you have the first disc which has the blue version and also comes with Oh, it's always hard to pull them out of these ones. Hang on. That's what she said. And as you can see, we have different coloured discs, and the first one is clearly blue, probably better for show from this angle. But we're given a lovely, luscious blue disc, which I actually like. Blue is one of my favourite colours, and this is kind of like a long, like my favourite shade of blue. We then have a green version, which has again another different version of one of the drug characters in the album or one of the draw like lsd inspired drawings i'm not sure what to refer to them as it's all bonkers in it we're then given this like i'm not sure what kind of it's not pea green or lime green vomit green yeah i feel like that's too harsh for this color i'm not sure but it's almost like neon maybe what shade of green would you call this either way it's a green version of the record now what could be mistaken as what i would say um tyler the creator's flower boy cover or an extra illustration for it it's just the third lp which obviously is going to be orange that was actually so much easier to take out what the fuck? and this one contains the mummy character and honestly there's something super nice about it like they're a bit more pastely sort of color all of these records but they're so nice as well and that's one of my favorite parts about this edition of the slim shady lp and that's that the slim shady lp is very dark very like you, when you think of it, you think about like like dark, almost black purple. But this just adds like 
a whole different kind of like vibe to the album in my opinion which I really like and kind of makes you look at it in a different light as well and fits that theme of being on a trip basically so I'd probably say if it wasn't for the next one I'm about to show you these would probably be my favorite records of this Slim Shady LP collection. But the next one I'm about to show you is the most expensive record just in my entire collection. It's the most money I put out into a record and it's also the most investment or profit that I could get from a record if I were to sell it. Now goes for about over £500 and that is the Slim Shady 25th anniversary. And I do have a full video dedicated to this if you would like to go and watch it. However, I'm not going to subject you to have to click onto a whole other video to see what's on this. But as we open it up, we find a booklet. I will say the one thing I do always find really tricky with getting this one open is they all get kind of get like stuck in and you kind of have to like pull it out somehow i won't go through this in its entirety but i love being able to see more of the color within the actual like not just like filter that it has over it and seeing that red like moon i never like when i look at the cover thought of it as being red but seeing this version of it i think it makes it look epic and even more dark and there's also some added colors to what would be considered the back cover as well with this like red undertone around them for more of an in-depth look, go and have a look at the video, but here's just a couple of sneak peeks. The main purpose of this 25th anniversary is the LPs themselves. And this is a Zoetrope, and if we pull it out, it does show you what it looks like there, but it gives you these pictures, which when you spin, creates a bit of an image or animation that's happening in this one. You basically get the mushroom that's flying up as well as the mummy slim shady running around the side of it and throwing it i believe is what it's doing and on the second one is actually a bit different um because it's just got the hand of the mummy which then throws up a spray can which it does obviously on the side of the trailer this release was one of the most highest quality releases i've had and as you can kind of tell you can understand why this would be my favorite disc out of the slim shady lp collection i have got i think if i were to have one one small complaint about it it would be that you can't actually watch the zo the zope trope whilst you're playing the record you kind of have to get a camera or you have to get on your phone and do some stuff to like actually be able to see what it does for example like lowering your frame rate which is a little bit unfortunate but is what it is at the end of the day. If you know the actual practical name for this effect that's done on the cover where you can see my ring light kind of like bouncing and reflecting off it, please let me know. But it's also got that on it as well, which I think is another nice addition to this. And this is kind of like, to me, what I would consider my crown on like my Eminem collection or my just vinyl collection in general. But it doesn't stop there with the Slim Shady LPs technically because Singles did release for this album, including My Name Is. My Name Is is probably the song that put Eminem on the map, in my opinion. Obviously, some shady on the map, but some shady is Eminem, blah, blah, blah. This, as you can see by the sticker at the bottom, is a record date exclusive, and this came out in 2020. I remember when it came out, and I didn't get it. Um, obviously, it's in my hand now, and that's because this year I decided I want it. Um, because I kind of forgot it existed. I think I saw Vinyl Dude in his Eminem collection video. I think he showed that he had it, and I was like... You've got it, now I want it. And if you want to say guess at how much this costs, go ahead, leave your guess in the comments. I will answer that question in three seconds. One, two, three, 50 quid. That's how much this small seven inch record cost me. Um, am I proud of that? No, um, but in the conquest of trying to get one of the most unique Eminem vinyl collections, it just kind of happened. So is what it is. Um, so on this you have side A which obviously has my name is but also on side B you get bad guys always die. Obviously not the Slim Shady LP however it is from that album and I kind of group it into this video because I think that's fair because it's part of that era and part of that album just like the song Just Don't Give a Fuck. There's probably a part of me thinking I should try and censor this disc but that would be pointless. Um, I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to like get my greasy fingers all over it but it's literally I don't even think I can describe it. You can see what it is. It's got Eminem inside it. I, I will say this is probably one of my favorite picture discs, just for the look of it. And I think this was probably another one that was released in the 2019, 2020 period. Couldn't tell you when. <laughs> so I'm looking at something that I got a few months ago, actually, and I've been saving for this video. Haven't actually opened it or had a look at it. Yes, you heard that right. There is another Slim Shady related thing in this Slim Shady lot that I've got. 
I was going to stop with all of that because I thought, you know what, that's enough. I know there is one version that is missing out of my little Slim Shady collection. And that was actually released in like an Urban Outfitters limited run, which was basically just, I believe it's not like the expanded gatefold that you get. I think it's literally just the plain original one, but it comes with a purple translucent disc. It might just be a purple disc, but there's a version like that about, which I don't have in my collection. That one's actually quite hard to find. And in my research for what records that I should get for the Slim Shady LP, I accidentally came across this next one. If you know my collection, or at least my Eminem collection, you'll be familiar with this style of record that got released. There is an 8 Mile one, and there is this one, which is the 20th anniversary of the Eminem show. I jumped on both of them the second I realised they were out. However, I didn't realise there was another version of them, which actually completely passed me by, and I never noticed. I think, I want to say this was also another 20th anniversary, anniversary type thing. I believe at the time, I wasn't into my full phase of wanting to get every Eminem thing. However, recently, when I was kind of just like making my way along the um, Eminem store, having a browse, seeing what there was, I came across past collections. And I came across this edition of the Slim Shady LP. I'll try that. Um, so as you can see here, I'm not sure how well it's gonna show. Um, I believe that's in Japanese or Mandarin, I'm not, I'm not sure. That's ignorant of me, but I'm um, just be real. I'm not sure which language it is. Somewhere in Asia. I had to ship this from there because this was a Discogs purchase and this was the only version of it I could really find. And I'm not going to say this was like my most expensive record. However, that's not to say it's still not a lot to put into a record. This was actually, I believe, about 160 quid. And I have no clue how to open this. They've gone sellotape mad with it. Like, look at the cor They've even put, like, protective corners on this. So I've got to give them that. They've actually put an effort to try and actually prevent this from just blowing up. Probably put more suspicion onto it. Yeah, I think I'm going to be wrestling this box for the next half an hour. So bear with me. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. It's about goddamn time, as Lizzo would say. You know what? Props to whoever was packaging this. It looks like a bear tried getting their way into this. When I go to my ring light, now you can see I'm talking. <laughs> <sighs> okay, get rid of that. Sorry. Sticker has nothing to do with this. I think mean, that's just where I got it from. Oh, okay. So, Eminem Slim Shady LP expanded edition release on whatever you want to call this. This like booklet type thing. I'm not sure what to call these, but I absolutely love my other two that I have. Surprised they didn't do one for the Marshall Mavis LP. This is when I find out there's a Marshall Mavis LP one and I go and get one, but. That's not what this video is about. God, they're even protecting it from the inside with cardboard. Got to rate the hustle of trying to protect this. To be fair, it's a little bit squished in a couple areas, but honestly, I ain't mad about it. I'm not sure how well this will come up, but let's ha actually have a look at this one. Um, we get a lithograph, is that how you say these things? Um, but it actually changes his hand motion, so he goes from his hands out to put in the middle finger. How well can we show that? Oh, that's perfect. Hand out, middle finger. That's pretty cool. An image that we're probably all very familiar with, except a bit of a different colour. There it is again, different position and different colour. A poster we're basically familiar with at this point. And then the cover that we all know right now. And actually, this is a booklet in itself. Probably very similar to what was in my other one. But you can kind of see it here. I love seeing the B-roll type stuff. Or well, like the real film reels that they released. Always nice to see. This smells like it was a 
being held hostage. I don't know. Don't ask me how I know what that smells like. Got the pill, and obviously each one of these pages has credits. There's that one. That one. It's fine. There's quite a bit in this. Reissue credits. The thank yous again. And then Loki, this picture on the left here goes super hard in my opinion. And then you kind of get what was on the single there. So essentially this is again another version of the expanded edition but everything that you've seen in there has been put more into a booklet form in here which is super cool to have. Um, I don't think there is a difference on these records. Is it from the top you pull them out? Oh shit, no they are. I think the best way to probably sum this up is it kind of takes everything from everything I've just shown you and puts them into its own unique version. So this is a bit of a darker blue. I genuinely thought these were just going to be like regular black discs. We then also have a purple version, which is kind of cool. Maybe more pink. No, it's purple, not pink. Then finally, we have a red one, which is actually such a nice red. Oh my god, that's lovely. So there we have the book edition is what I'm going to call it of the Eminem Ex Slim Shady LP expanded edition which I think is really cool. That's going to sit really nicely on my other two. Now if you want to ask me what's my favourite out of these ones I feel like this is up there however I think it's kind of hard to go against this. I love the opening experience of this one and maybe there's a bit of bias in terms of how much it's worth but but realistically, it is such a unique record to have, especially as in an Eminem collection. So I think this one probably wins as my favorite. So I'm sure a question on a lot of your minds is, Ollie, why do you have one, two, three, four, five, five editions of Slim Shady LP plus two singles? Why not? <laughs> that's, that's sort of my answer for you. I'll be real, before the start of this year, I only had one. Then I kind of thought, oh, it'd be cool to get the Interscope one because like that's gonna be a harder find as well. I wanna make my more my collection more unique. Then I saw that my name is single. And then from there I kind of was like, you know what, at this point I'm starting to rack up a bit of some shady collection. It's Eminem season. Wouldn't it be cool to make a video sort of showing the difference between each one and sort of like being able to say, yo, I've got different versions of it. So the short answer is, I did it for the content and I'd be interested to know what additions of some shady LP do you have? Do you have any other different versions of different albums of Eminem? What is your favourite one of the ones that I have shown you? Are there any that you're aware of that I'm missing? I obviously did mention the Urban Outfitters version but I'm curious to know is there any more? I know obviously there's like the original pressing which is probably easier to get than I realise but I don't know how bothered I am about original pressings to that extent but I might look into it, who knows. And with the whole like tier list of my ranking of this, I think I was harsh on it. I think it needs to go up a little bit higher. But for now, the Eminem album that I have the most versions of on vinyl is one of my above average rated albums of his. And trust me, I wish it was that one I had this many of. Um, but when we get to our um, Depper Slim Shady unboxing video, I think we might be... What's, what's the what's that film that has a quote? We have competition, boys. There's, there's a quote like that somewhere. I'll find a clip. Looks like we got competition. And also let me know, are you excited for the, I believe they're calling it the Mourners edition of the expanded version of the Death of Slim Shady? I'm really hoping it's more than just the two bonus pre-order tracks that you could get. Um, I'm hoping there's a good like five of it. I don't think we're going to get like a whole side B like we did for Music To Be Murdered By. I think like five or six extra tracks might be all we get, but... I'ma take it. I have absolutely loved the rollout of Eminem's new album and I'm not letting the hype die now. That was kind of half the reason I made this video because I think it's always it's sick to be able to talk about Eminem. And by the time the expanded version is out, I might try and make a little bit of a reaction or a review video to it like I did before when it first came out. So let me know if you're looking forward to that. And as always, take care and oh, subscribe before my ring light falls off. We recently hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all very much for that. We're on the road to like 2K now. Um, Ideally, we are on the road to 10k, but every subscriber is part of that road right now, so appreciate all of you who have subscribed so far. If you haven't already, do it. Why haven't you? You're watching the video, you're at this point, you haven't subscribed. Fake fan. Bye.